Hi. Well, back for another ramble. Uh, I've had several people email me and ask me about uh, how do I do my initial setups. Well, I'll just start uh, with a video talking about how I do the initial alignment of uh, my mount. So first of all, mount's got to be level. Uh, there's a little level I have right there that shows me uh, that. I happen to have the fortune of having a house that faces true north. Uh, so it's not hard to sort of know where I'm supposed to be looking for Polaris uh, up in the sky. And beyond all that, I want to tell you that I'm not going to do this in a complicated way. Not because I'm lazy, maybe I am, but really what the deal is, is I don't use the setting rings and look for dates and months and whatever that way. Uh, I just find out where, uh, when I'm sighting through my polar scope here, uh, where exactly Polaris should be in that uh, Polaris circle. Uh, for you that have looked through it and checked it out a bit and then kind of been bamboozled by the complexity of how to get the mount all aligned, uh, the last thing you've maybe ever seen if you've been successful going the hard way and then getting the scope moved around uh, with all the setting rings is to find where in the heck do I put Polaris? Well, you don't put it in the crosshairs, but you need to put it somewhere around that uh, uh, Polaris circle. And uh, that will vary depending on the time of evening that you're setting up. Um, so let's say it's 6 p.m. and it's dark enough where I can see Polaris up there. Uh, what I do is I use uh, Polar Finder EXE myself. There are lots of resources on the web to find out where on a given time you should see Polaris in your Polaris ring. Um, so let's say that's supposed to be at the 4 p.m. mark uh, sort of thing, 4 o'clock. Uh, uh, on your on your polar circle, uh, I just uh, find Polaris up there. I do use a laser uh, pointer through the finder to see that I've actually got Polaris through the polar finder. You know, I really I really hate to look through this scope, and uh, and I've got one of the stars close to Polaris, but not Polaris. That sucks. But if I can get Polaris up there, use the laser pointer, confirm I've got it, then I can get on to adjusting. The various screws I've got here, which you can see are pretty heavy duty ones, and a nice ratchet one right here uh, that I got from Britain for my particular German equatorial mount. Uh, without a weighted down mount, in other words, no scope on it, whatever, I can get those settings done quite well. And uh, I've, uh, of course, don't forget you've got to have, if you're new uh, to this sort of thing, you've got to have your latitude set here. I'm at 49 degrees, which works for the 100 mile radius I leave. Uh, from my home to ever do any astrophotography for the most part. Uh, once you've got all that stuff set and you've got uh, Polaris at the 4 p.m. let's say is where it's supposed to be at 6 o'clock at night, at yeah, 4 p.m. around that circle, set uh, Polaris into that and away I go. And for observational stuff and asking the go-to to find my images, they're right bang on where they should be. And when I'm doing astrophotography, um, uh, I use a guide scope to guarantee that I have good sharp stars. Um, I have friends that have uh, gone the hard way and done uh, drift alignments, and all kinds of stuff. And they spend a whole weekend, they spend all night getting just that done before they can do any work at all. Uh, this takes five minutes. Uh, life's hard enough to do it the way that works, but has some sound uh, background uh, to it. And, and that seems to work really well for me. Uh, future videos I'll maybe look at uh, more about setting up the scope and putting the guide scope on and actually using uh, for instance PhD is what I use from Stark Labs to do uh, my uh, my guiding when I'm doing my astrophotography because uh, uh, you have to have uh, something send correcting pulses to the scope so you're right bang on and your star fields don't shift when you're doing one five ten minute exposures um, of, of whatever uh, deep space object you're doing. Anyway, I uh, hope that's uh, somewhat helpful. Email me if uh, you need more information. Comments are welcome on the, uh, on the video, of course. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, clear skies.